We could really do with somewhere to store all this stuff. Looks like this might be a good a place as any. Let's build the farm. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Felsbrunn. Today uh, we are, uh, as I said in my introduction, we're going to be building a farm down on our flat area. Uh, but before we get started on that, our wheat has uh, come uh, has uh, come ready to harvest. So we're going to get a hired worker working on that. So we're going to be supporting the combine uh, with the styre as well. So let's get this started up if we just press... Just get it started. And away it goes. There we go. So our hide work is down on that. Uh, our stire is down here. And is going to be doing uh, doing the carting. We're not doing anything else with it at the moment. Uh, we're going to, as I said, we're going to build the yard. For those interested, uh, we have 138,946. It's going down because the harvest is, uh, the hide work is going uh, we made about 25,000, I think it was, on the potatoes in this field here. If we have a look quickly at here, uh, you can see that yesterday uh, we made 67,495 on all of our harvest yesterday, or uh, and, uh, the last episode, uh, and we spent a total of 43,832. So uh, actually off the potatoes, we maybe made about 15 to 18,000. Uh, you know, allowing for uh, what we got off the wheat. So, without further ado, uh, we are going to uh, get into building our yard. So, uh, I'm going to time lapse this. I will see you on the other side.
there we go so uh, our farm is built let's have a quick look uh, actually before we do that let's uh, pop over to our tractor over here because our combine is full and we have got uh, we've still got some wheat left from last time we left this in here because we uh, because we can but let's go and check out actually I've got a really great idea Let's go put the trailer under here and then we're going to go and check out our workshop and drive this back down to the shed just so that we can see our tractor or our yard in action. So we'll drop off our trailer here and head down to our yard. So yeah, so we've got two barns, we've got a workshop, we have a, uh, we have a fuel tank as well. So we should have plenty of stuff. We actually have an entrance to the barn here, so I might do that. So, we've, But we've done this. We've done all this for not a huge amount of money. Uh, there's a few tweaks and things I can see that I need to do. But in general, I'm pretty happy with this. This is working well. We'll drop off our front. Reverse up to our workshop. Right, and this, customise our tractor so we can very easily now. Customise our tractor like so. That's all done. So yeah, you can see a, sm a few smoothing areas and things like that. We're going to get a little bit more money, but I think once we do that, what we can do is we can just smooth out these few areas, these few kinks and bit bits. But in general, uh, I quite like this. Well, space hopefully for a silo here eventually. But uh, so we've got a smaller shed over here, which opens up like this, uh, with a fantastic rack at the end that we can put uh, tools and stuff on. Uh, and then this one opens up again to an area here. We then got this shed up here. Now this is a drive-through shed, so this will be massively useless to uh, useful. So useless, useful to us. Uh, we can get our combine in here. Plenty of storage space for equipment and stuff. Now uh, really happy with this. That should work very nicely. Uh, and then we have our fuel tank and our workshop. So uh, yeah, and all built for a hundred and thirty-eight thousand. So. That's what I mean. I've, I've said to a few people recently, if you use the terrain editing tool properly, if you use it carefully, uh, then you can have a farm and you can have it for an inexpensive price. Uh, we have some smoothing bits to do in various places, but we've still only spent, we've, you know, we've not spent a ridiculous amount of money on it. Uh, and I'm really quite happy with that. That has worked really really well so what I'm gonna do is we will get the rest of this harvest done we will go and sell this and uh, and what we'll be doing next time is we will be getting ourselves a uh, we'll be getting ourselves a plow uh, because while I don't think we have a plow at all we can't yeah we don't have a plow so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to plow in the remains of those potatoes into that field, and once we've done that, uh, we will be able to uh, to get this field and that field seeded. How much have we got? We've got a couple of rows left. We've got a bit left, so we'll take control of the combine now, and uh, I'm gonna harvest the rest of this field.
so we're coming to the very last bit of week we actually have a full trailer with our tractor and trailer at the moment and a uh, uh, and the combine is uh, is approaching half full so I'm quite pleased with this but that is the wheat harvest done so with that all that remains is for me to say Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Bertrand Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.